welcome one and welcome all. Welcome to the place where we can be foul pals. Welcome to the channel where you can get your life. Now, in today's video, darling, I have a sweet, sweet package, honey. All the way from Ohio, from a foul pal named Danielle. Now, Danielle does not have a channel. Danielle is a part of the Foul Pal community, darling. So, if you want to know what Foul Pals is all about, stay tuned. Okay, Foul Pal, so I am so privileged and blessed to be able to receive packages from my dear Foul Pals without even asking. She paid for the shipment and everything. So, Danielle, I really appreciate you. I really thank you. I, I send well wishes and blessings to you, your sons, and your husband. I ask that all of my Foul Pals do not be afraid to do things like this. Love is what love does. And this is what Foul Pals is all about. This is why I say this is the people's channel. Okay? So these are some orchids that she was not having success with and she wanted to see what I'm able to do now that I have all of this newfound information dealing with the nutrients, the fertilizing, and the watering of the Phalaenopsis orchid. So it says... Foul pal, good luck with these problem children. <laughs> Danielle, you're so silly. Um, I hope they do well in your care because I just had no luck with them. Foul pal, Danielle. That is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I am going to take a look at all of these orchids and see what we can do, see what the problem is. Now, because it seemed as if she sent quite a few orchids, some might have to wait until update seven. So stay tuned for that, foul pals. So this says it's a purple foul, okay? Okay. Now, I lost a lot of my orchids in December because the low humidity. And so with these sick phalaenopsis, it just gives me an opportunity to work on water culture because I do believe we can still do water culture. Do I believe that it's, a, it's good for long term? Absolutely not. Now, foul pal Danielle, just from my personal experience and... um. All of this white substance, it could be, yeah, it's not from the paper towels. Um, you've been giving it too much fertilizer. Um, 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 the wrinkly leaves, you can see that it's very dehydrated. So the first thing that I'm going to do, starting with this one, stay tuned. Okay, foul pals. So because I don't know the condition of this phalaenopsis, I also don't know what she has been through on the two days that it took for her to get here from Ohio all the way to Alabama. I went out and got me some distilled water. Now, this is going to be some water that's very pure. It's also going to be without any type of salt. So, it's going to be very gentle for this Phalaenopsis orchid. And once I see how she perks up, that will let me know how to deal with her as such. Now, she has some brown roots, but... They are thick, so let's just see what we can do. All of this is just trying to do better and better until we become the grower that we would hope to be. So what I choose, what I'm choosing to do is let her sit in this, um, and this is going to be for each and every individual orchid, and I'm going to start water culture on them at least until I'm able to see some good roots going on. So I'm just going to get the distilled water. I'm going to pour it in here. And I am going to emerge the whole plant inside of this bowl. And this is going to hydrate the Phalaenopsis orchid. Yes, the Phalaenopsis orchid does have a few roots, but um, she is also able to maintain it in some of her leaves. And I'm hoping that it will wash any of the um, residue from any salt builds up off of it. Now, typically, you would want to do this in warm water, but I am, this is cold water, unfortunately, but you know what? We're doing the best that we can with what we have, okay? So, as I let this sit and hydrate in this water, 
I am going to move on into the next orchid. So stay tuned, Fab Pals. All right, darling. Let's go through this package and see what else is in here besides orchids. She said she left me a surprise. Root Organics. Um, what does it say? Tayo tea? I can't see what that says. Um, it says something about some grow. Okay, we got some nutrients on the back, so this is going to be some kind of feed. It says crucial nutrition for heavy feeding, high yielded plants. Now, foul pals, with that being said, especially with seeing um, the condition of the Phalaenopsis orchid that's over here soaking. As I said, she might have over fertilized it, Danielle. So I know that you want to try all of these new um all of these new fertilizers and such, but that is not what we are going to do on Orchids for Dummies, the People's Channel. I have realized that the YouTube Orchid Society has come away from the love of orchids, meaning that it's a hobby. A hobby where we interact and have a good time and share our experiences and one grower tries to help the other grower. That's what we are doing. So with that being said, um, Danielle, the orchid right here is in no condition to be looking for nutrients. What it needs to do is first hydrate itself and then it's going to go through a rest period. Now, we want to wait a few weeks, several weeks, in fact, to see how it will respond. So, I'm not going to use any fertilizer on this as of now. But it is. So, let's get to these orchids. Oh, righty, foul pals. I'm sorry. Let me get this angle good for you, okay? Oh, I'm so excited. And this is a no ID phalaenopsis. I'm so excited. Guys, this is what growing orchids. Oh my God. I've never had a purple orchid like this. Oh man, but she's in such a bad condition. Well, she has four leaves. This is beautiful. Beautiful. This white substance, foul pals, is letting you know it's a salt buildup with the orchids. Also, if I hold it, no, that's not that's incorrect. But this is um uh, this is too much fertilizer for the orchid. And remember I told you if you were not knowing what you was doing with the fertilizer that that could in fact keep the um orchid from maintaining its nutrients. Now, foul pals, stay tuned and I will try to break it down a little bit more. All right, foul pals. So, what I was saying or what I was meaning when you have all of this salt um of this fertilizer residue left over. That means that if you are not or over fertilizing your orchids or not fertilizing it correctly, oh my God, um, before I get to this, um, if you're not doing it correctly, it won't be able to absorb those nutrients. So it's just going to push it away. You know, such as someone that's dealing with high glucose, um, the body can only take uh, or absorb so much amount of sugar. Now, this is going to be the same, um, same ideal situation with the Phalaenopsis orchid. Also, on this orchid, before I move it away, I see some new root growth. So, thank you, Danielle. This Phalaenopsis might actually um, do well. Now, this says Christmas cards or something. I don't know. Maybe cactus, because I'd have heard of a Christmas cactus. Oh, this is beautiful, Danielle. And it has blooms, guys. This, it, I mean, life does not get better than this. This is why I do this. This is what it's all about. This is just beautiful. 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 Look at that. I don't know anything about no cactus. <laughs> Danielle, you know I am still a new grower trying to get it together, but this is beautiful. Um, I would definitely talk to you, Danielle, about how to care for this. And I'll put it in my bedroom. This is beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. So, Danielle, thank you so much for being such a blessing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And no, foul pals, honey. She still got some stuff for the girls, honey. This is how you do it, honey. And she paid for this, honey. The People's Channel. Danielle, honey. She is just awesome, honey. She is awesome. Oh, this looks like it might be another one of those purple ones. Okay. Oh, and it's got new root growth, too. 
Now these right here, I don't think I would want to do water culture on them. I think the ones that got the new root growth, I'm gonna put um I'm gonna put some um I'm gonna try them with moss because I do have moss. Okay. Now the other phalaenopsis is still over there soaking. I said I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do them once one at a time. Also, when this one come out, these two over here, I am going to use, um, I'm going to warm this up and use warm water so it won't be such of a cold shock for them. Now, Fab Pals, we are almost done, honey. So stay tuned. Don't get mad because I got orchids and you didn't get any, honey. Don't get mad, honey. This is another no ID phalaenopsis. This is what Fab Pals is all about. You guys, we supposed to be sending orchids. Danielle, bless your heart. Bless your heart. And it got roots coming everywhere. Bless your heart. Thank you, Danielle. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. You know, I love a baby. I never had a baby. That's a baby. That's a baby. Oh, I can't wait to tell my husband and show my husband. Danielle, thank you. That is beautiful. Oh, this might be a baby too. This is another purple phalaenopsis. So it might be a baby because it's a small package. I love babies. And I got all of these um, glass. Danielle, you didn't have to do this. You didn't have to do this, Danielle. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Now she is a little sickly. And no ma'am, I am not cutting these blooms off. I'm gonna put this baby in some moss and hope that she does the best that she can do. That was all of the orchids, foul pals. So as I get ready to um water each and every of these orchids as such, I am going to let you know what I intend to do with them in the long run. In my update video number seven. So, Foul Pals, I hope that you will stay tuned. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. Get Subscribe to this channel so we can get the hobby back into growing orchids, okay? We can start back having fun, going places, doing new things, and meeting new people. That is what it is all about when you enter the world of growing orchids. So, from one foul pal to another foul pal. Until next time!